senior clerk of the House of Commons is a woman. We are really making sure that we have two representation, not because the women, because the women are the best for the job as well. And that's what matters to me. Sudut Dengar Parlemen Greetings, distinguished audiences, and welcome to Sudut Dengar Parliament. And this is a special edition of P20 event, the Parliamentary Forum, and the 8th G20 Parliamentary Speaker Summit. I'm Zilfa Boas, your today's host. It is such a great pleasure and absolute honor to have with us now, we have His Excellency Sir Lindsay Hall, the Speaker of House of Commons from United Kingdom. Nice to be with you. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate your time. My time's easily given, you know. It's, it's fantastic to come into the studio to be able to have a conversation. Yes, it's not often I get to speak as speaker, so it's nice to be with you. Thank you so much once again. So, Sir Lindsay, we are delightful to have United Kingdom to attend the P20. So, what is your impression that you experience from the parliament that you observe and experience from the Republic of Indonesia? I've got to say, I'm absolutely amazed how wonderful it is, the welcome of the people, the warmth, the feel to the country. As this is my first time in Indonesia, what I can say, it's my first, but it is now not my last. But it is the impression of when you come to this parliament, a new parliament compared to ours that's so old, this modern building that brings you in, that's so well designed, the sheer size and scale of the parliamentary area is absolutely fantastic. It is the way that the conference has been put on, the ability, you can see how Indonesia is, not only is it progressive, it is the way that it can design a conference, put it together, deliver it, get us from our hotel to the conference centre. Yes. You know, all, all these things are brought together. And, and it's, it's a wonderful experience for me because, as I say, not only is it the pleasure of meeting new friends and coming to a new country, but also it's the delight of Indonesian food. I've got to say, second to none, the taste, the spices, everything about it is quite amazing. My problem is I came a slim person. I go home a much bigger person when I return. But no, yes. it, joking apart, I, I've got to say it's been a wonderful experience so far. The conference in itself, the layout, I say, is really, really good. And, and it's nice to be in such a nice, new, open building. You know, it's very open. Everybody can move around and it gets everybody in. You know, we're in my mm -hmm. House of Commons. We have a very small chamber. Oh, okay. um, you know, the fact is we can only get 450 MPs onto the floor of the house, and yet we've 650 MPs. So it really is tight. We're here that, you know, you've got the ability to have your own seat, to spread out. Mm -hmm. And it's the differences between the two parts is, is quite amazing. Ours is, you know, the historic part. Yours is a more modern parliament in the layout. And it is nice to come from an older established parliament to a, a newer parliament. And I've got lots to take back. Lots of great memories so far, and the conference hasn't even finished yet. Wow, so that's quite different between the Parliament of Republic of Indonesia and the United Kingdom. Do you find any similarities on our democracy and our Parliament? What, what, what I would say is, we've always got one belief. We believe in democracy, yes. and we believe in the rights of the people to ensure that they have the vote to choose the people that represent them. That is what brings us together. That's what binds politicians. It is democracy and the belief in democracy. But of course, it, you've got a speaker, I'm a speaker, you know, it's that ability. We have a royal family, that's the difference where you do not have, you have a president. Mm. So we've got many other similarities as well. You know, the fact is, that I always think great countries like ourselves have got to work closer together. It's not just about being friends, it's about the trade. The fact that we've got to get young people coming from the UK to come to Indonesia and people from Indonesia to go to the UK. Education and young people are the future. And the more we combine that together, the better and stronger our countries will be. Yes, definitely agree with you, sir, on that. So. On the P20 event, we actually have four main topics that being brought up. Yes. For instance, like the sustainable development to the gender 
equality and women empowerment, what of the main topic being the main concern and issue to be highlighted from the United Kingdom? I, th I think I think we're all together in what climate change is doing to the mm. world. We are united, and none more so than yourselves, in finding green energy, a new way of moving forward, because climate change affects the world and the poorest nations the most. So we need to work together to ensure that we can set out the right foundations going forward. And that's why that conference is so mm. important. And you're absolutely right when we come to representation. It is about ensuring that we have better rep representation of yes. women. And I've got to say, in the House of Commons, we have made major strides. The party I used to belong to have 50% of the MPs are women. The fact that I came into this job as Speaker, I looked around and said, we will change the face of this mm -hmm. parliament. My chief of staff is a woman. The fact that our head of security is a woman. The mm -hmm. director general of parliament is a woman. Oh. We're making great strides in the appointments that we have. The deputy senior clerk of the House of Commons is a woman. We are really making sure that we have true representation. Not because the women, because the women are the best for the job as well. And that's what matters to me. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to hear that answer. So, Sir Lindsay, you're talking about the climate change, right? So, is there any like agreement to be put on the table between United Kingdom and Republic of Indonesia? I, th I think there's a lot we can do. I think, I think, you know, I've had many conversations. I've met with Madam Speaker. I've met with different ministers. And the one thing I believe is we've so much in common. There's so much that brings us together. You know, green tourism, tourists from the UK, getting mm -hmm. them back to come and see the beauty of Indonesia. That is so important. But also it's about education, about sharing knowledge of young people, making sure that we can work together. Collaborations between universities of the UK and Indonesia will be mm -hmm. so important. Yes. And that really does matter. And it's about building on that agenda. If we, young people are the future, and we've got to make sure that we have the best educated, the best supported, and the fact that we have friendship links between our two countries really matters to me. And it's how we can build on that. The fact that we can do so much more with green mm. technology, it's about sharing technology, a manufacturing base. The fact is, I believe we can do so much more on pharmaceuticals, you know, the sharing of knowledge. We've been through a pandemic and we had the best scientists from all over the world working together. We got the formula in the UK. Mm. So yes, we could deal with it. We, we could inoculate people, but we couldn't produce the vaccines quick enough. So we need to be able to share that knowledge of we've got this vaccine, you manufacture here, we manufacture there, and we can supply different mm. contents by working together. We know that a pandemic could come back. So therefore, let us build a manufacturing base that can supply the world much more quickly than where we've been in the past. So I think there's so much more we can do together. Yes, there's a lot of things we can do, right? During the bilateral meetings, probably between United Kingdom and Indonesia, have you come with any conclusions or decision on that? What, what it shows me is that not only have we built better friendships, better informed and better knowledge, which I can take back, which is important. The fact there are issues such as security and terrorism that we can work closely on, the fact that we can work closely on defence as well, and those contracts that come out of defence, I was absolutely amazed to find and quite a good collaboration between Babcock of the United Kingdom, who have designed a frigate that you are building for your Navy. And it's that collaboration that we can build on. We could do so much more of that going forward. Wow, that's so amazing. And looking forward to that. Thank you. So, Sir Lindsay, you're mentioning that this is your first time coming yes. to Indonesia, right? And we experienced it's been raining cats and dogs for like the past few days. So, does it bother you? No, because I come from the north of England. I'm north of Manchester. So I come from an area that's always got rain. It's one of the wettest parts of the United Kingdom. So I thought you put it on specially for my visit because I'm so used to rain in the area. So yes, um, I'm not shocked by the rain. I'm not worried mm -hmm. by the rain. What I'm worried is, and quite rightly, climate change is giving us a lot more rain than we used to. Yeah. So in fairness, I don't know whether this is normal for you, but it's certainly normal to, ha to experience rain. It's a bit heavier here, but we have 
longer rain spells than what you seem to have. But what I would say is, I'm sure it's not just about rain in Indonesia. Yes, true. Right. You're also mentioning about the food, the spicy ones and all that. But during the rainy seasons, normally Indonesians love to consume something hot to warm their body. For instance, like we drink wedang jahe, it's like the ginger boiled on the hot water, as well as boiled banana. Probably you have tried one of them. I'm a big fan of ginger. I think I think ginger is fantastic. And, and I love ginger tea as well to drink. And it is a very warming, you know, and, 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 and there's something nice, the taste of ginger as well. So, yes, I've got to well know I do like spice. I do like curry. I like, you know, I think there's something. I wouldn't say it, English food's completely boring, but when I travel abroad, it's so exciting to try new food. And food that's got different flavours, you know, the fact that you can taste a lemongrass in there or a hot spice, it, it, it really is something special, you know, and the prawns that have been had, the chicken, you know, there's so much of a variety as well that you're serving the food. I, as I say, the problem is I'm eating too much of it because I'm enjoying it so much as well. Yes. And the final question is like, the Indonesia, we are the archipelago countries, so we have almost 17,000 islands, and Java is one of them. In fact, Java is the most populous island in Indonesia, where Jakarta is located as our capital city, over 145 million stay in Java itself. And this is your first time coming. Do you have any plan probably to visit other places outside Java, sir? I have indeed, and I've got to own up and say, I'm a softie when it comes to wildlife. So I'd love to see the Komodo dragon. So I'd love to go to Komodo. And it is something I was just hoping that we might have been able to do this time. But it's so far away because of the sheer size and the scale of the country. So I have said, and I've said to Madam Speaker, I would love to return. So I want to maybe enjoy Bali, which yes. I hear so much about. <laughs> and the, the other part of that, I would love to go to Komodo to see these magnificent dragons. That here we are, a creature from so long ago that survives, that, you know, just, just being part of nature and seeing that, I think will be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Such you. an interesting topic we have with Sir Lindsay today and definitely looking forward for more impactful program between the Republic of Indonesia and United Kingdom. Please do enjoy the rest of P20 event and your stay in Indonesia, sir. And thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be interviewed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Distinguished audiences, that to be all for our P20 podcast with Sir Lindsay. Please do subscribe our channel to get more updates on P20. I'm Zilpa Boss, saying goodbye.